is the big day. Super excited to have the new transmission. So I'm gonna have to just have a little bit of faith and leave Olga there at the transmission shop and just let them do their thing. I don't wanna be hovering over them all the time, but uh, I wanted to stick around and at least make sure that lift was gonna lift Olga because the biggest lift they have is a 12,000 pound lift and Olga's gross weight is 11,000. So last night he asked me to uh, empty all of the holding tanks and uh, also empty out all of my fresh drinking water. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, the only stuff I got in there that I'm kind of worried, that I was kind of worried about was the batteries and jacks. That's mean. That's mean. No. But I stuck around. It lifted. Everything's okay. I'm going to go get a bite to eat. Head back there and just camp out and see how far we can get today. I'm sure you've noticed it by now. I don't have the stabilizer with me. I'm just holding my old original handheld one for the GoPro. But I'm in this little park here in the middle of the city. I'm going to go get a sandwich and finance the purchase of the new transmission in Olga, I've had to take out three separate private loans from friends and family, plus partial paycheck from this last month, and I'm pay using almost all of my paycheck in three days to pay that back. But, you know, that money comes from my gas fund and travel fund for next month. Well, the rest of this month. So, uh, I'd love to be able to sell my stickers and postcards and finance it so thank you guys for those of you that already purchased you guys are awesome well I'm back and Olga's up on the lift I looked underneath here and this plumbing tie has come undone again so good thing I got extra I'll have to fix that when I get a chance we don't do that while he's working on the transmission good time to kind of do a walk around underneath though Check everything for secure. See, it's also coming off right here again, too. I gotta unscrew this and tighten this back on there. Alright, we'll do that. Well, just to give you an update on the timing here, it's about 2 o'clock and my transmission is still attached to Olga. So, it is looking like this is gonna go into a second day, kinda like I expected. You know, nothing you can do. They're, they got five bays and they're working on all. all all five vehicles all at once so yeah that's how it goes no biggie probably roll out Olga later and I'll stay out in the front lot and when they open the business in the morning I'll get out and we'll push it back in that's how we do that that's how we do that Transmission out. Let's put a new one in. Looking a little bare under there. You are a bad transmission. Very bad transmission. But think about what you did. The transmission won't bolt up. So, I hope you can hear him with his air compressor in there already. We're already on plan B. Rebuilding my transmission. Uh, parts that he doesn't have, he ordered, and, and a new torque converter, and everything. Yeah. Gonna be here a while. A few more days. Here's my transmission in pieces. A lot of stuff washed. The transmission that they got used from the junkyard that was gonna cost $550 would not bolt up, so talked to me and he's like I don't know where I'm gonna get another one you know what the other option is right and it was like I started weighing the cost and somebody else pointed this out uh, yesterday on the other video and it's like Eric what's the difference between 1300 and 1700 I mean a rebuilt transmission is like a brand new transmission pretty much so I said uh, I told him I, I, I can't take out any more loans so I, I, mean, I don't know what to do at this point I, I guess just put the old transmission 
uh, back in and, and roll me out of here. And he's like, no, 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 wait, you know, I'm, we can work something out, you know. I can still probably partially finance you for the rest of it. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, anyway, I gave him the thumbs up. So, as you can see, I tried to show you, we're watching the parts, and he put all of the stuff in there. Uh, he ordered all of the seals and stuff, uh, has to get a new torque converter and a few other things. And then we're going to get an updated price list tomorrow, and he said that by the end of the day tomorrow, should have the transmission put back together and back on Olga. So, um, I don't really know how I feel about that. I, um, you know, it's all about money, right? I mean, I'm, I'm looking at it like crud, you know, I've spent the last of this paycheck and I'm going to have to cover the rest later. I've already taken out two or three other loans and now I'm going to finance the rest through the shop and, but you know, there is a certain amount of satisfaction in knowing that, okay, wait a minute, you make that transmission, you give this RV the best transmission it could possibly have, that's one less thing to worry about. And she deserves it. She really does. So, um, yeah. No biggie. I just, I feel weird tonight, guys. Just want to let you know. Hopefully, uh... <clears throat> see what happens tomorrow oh the uh the shop here has two uh, uh german shepherds that roam all the way like they're fenced in but they get to go all the way around the, the building the actual building so every once in a while jacks will like hear something and <laughs> yeah they know i'm in here all right guys have a good night i'll see you tomorrow Hey guys, Jax here, along with his human servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our RV channel. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up below. Uh, don't forget to watch all of our other videos. we got some great material out there. Subscribe to our channel so you can get the latest updates here on the road. Can you say hi? Talk to you guys later.